Hey, it's Sarah, also known as Quasi Thoughts. Welcome back. Um, I thought I would do a quick flip through of how May turned out in my Stology. Um, some of the pages are uh, paper clipped together because of confidentiality reasons at work. Um, this was a quite a voluminous month in my Stology, and I tried through a couple things that just I didn't keep up with, so I'm not going to continue going forward. Um, I like really colorful pages. I like washi tape. And um, my planning has really evolved in the last two months, really month or so. Um, I love this format. So here, you can see how this is kind of coming apart. I discovered that uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna tip in uh, your vellums and things like that, use the shiny tape. Don't use a matte finish tape because it doesn't it tends to tear. At least that's what I found. Um, so my my planning system has really evolved since I started this, and I've really um, I've tried you know one page a day. I've tried two pages a day, and I've come to the decision that I I need to use two planners. I really have to separate out work from personal, just because of the field that I am in. So uh, I will do an updated setup video. Uh, soon, I'm waiting on a couple things from Amazon Japan to finish up my setup for work. Um, I'm going to continue using this as my personal planner. Kind of, a, I really, I mean, I really love a notebook like this for just um, thinking. <laughs> I know it sounds a little weird, but I, I think better on paper. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm wrestling back and forth with, do I want to do continue a page day in this and have it kind of be like a journal or memory keeping kind of a thing? Um, and do, or do I want to, you know, pull out my planning for the weekends into this? But for now, suffice to say, I am, I'm definitely enjoying this as a, um, a brain dump, but I like to, I like to be colorful. I like to tip things in. I like, chunky planners. I like making my pages super, like super colorful, super fun. I like thick planners. I think I'm repeating myself at this point. Um, this is where I started trialing out, um, two pages per day where I would split like personal things with work things. And then this is a weekend and I got my first happy planner stickers here. I definitely like happy planner. I had some serious biases against having the happy planner. Uh, stickers because I just thought they were you know kind of expensive and um, I don't know why but I got them and I like them this is my start for June so like you can see here that this was May in my planner I mean it's a little extra bulky because of the paper clips but it's definitely a good chunk of it I did um, rip the spine out of my Stology it helps it lay flatter as you can see, like this would be definitely humped up. Um, the spine does get a little delicate. I plan on doing a video, or would you like me to do a video on how I took the spine out? Uh, if you want one, please comment below that that's something you're interested in. I find it helps it um, lay flat when I'm writing in it. And then this is my uh, Bujo Planner uh, cover in beautiful pink. Um, it's kind of like a suede, a suede feel. And I love the raw edge that she puts on all of her covers. I definitely want another one. Um, I'm torn between asking for a standard folio like this for my morning pages or maybe a B6 Slim also for my morning pages. But that's where I'm at. Um, I will say this is now added to my planner system. This is probably just going to be like a straight calendar, not so much reference or anything. And it's primarily for work. Um, it's got a pretty detailed plan following Franklin Covey inserts. So that will probably be a video upcoming as well. Anywho, thanks. Talk to you later.